Until recently, the only way of sending logs from Curator to either an all-in-one console or a distributed environment is by deploying an appliance, virtual or physical, or in the cloud, called a, an event collector. And that has worked very well, but what happened with those instances where you have an environment very small, let's say that you have a, a small retail chain that they don't want to put an appliance uh, for collecting all these. They just want to tag alone any, you know, let's say that they have on their uh, small retail a Linux box and they want to just use that Linux box to collect logs. Let's say that I have, you know, other machines in my uh, retail environment and I want to collect logs from those machines and I want to you know kind of a tag alone the, that Linux box and send those to the console instead well now that is possible with the disconnected log collector or DLC couple of things so you can install this on an existing Linux box or you can deploy a Linux box just for this it's really irrelevant in the example I will use I'll use it with CentOS, which is a free license. And you can send those logs to Curator, both over UDP as well as TLS. Meaning, these elements, all these machines in here, they will, they're going to be sending logs to the DLC, but that one instead is going to be forwarding those logs into Curator. So for those hosts, looks like the, the SIM will be this this box, but in reality, it's going to be forwarding those. But this can be a, an existing Linux machine where you do the installation of the DLC and more on that later uh, for that purpose. When you use TLS, uh, this actually works as buffering. You know, if, if this, this connection is down for any reason, then this thing will keep the logs until the connection uh, is reestablished. Uh, of course, over TLS, you get security. UDP can be spoofable. Uh, and the type of logs that you can send for now, I only syslog, but I expect that pretty soon you will see other formats pretty soon. Now, in the example that you will see me uh, using in here, the address of my curator box is 172.16.16.10. And the address of the Linux machine that I use as a DLC is 60.77, right? Just make sure that you... Why this is kind of important? Well, we mentioned already the, the example of retail, where this makes it uh, very economical for them to do this because this is something free. You don't need extra licenses for this. Of course, you know, you still pay for events per second, but there's no hidden charges for any of this. In the case of data diodes, that this is an important consideration, particularly over, over uh, UDP. For managed service providers, you don't need a VPN now for that. When you have, you know, many, many remote uh, offices, you can actually make each instance belong to a separate domain. For cloud environments you know it, this is an alternative to a data gateway so lots of reasons why this is this is actually very very important let me actually show you the steps to make this happen the steps are very well documented in this document that comes you know it's official documentation for getting the dlc so couple of this is the, the general requirements I'm gonna go quickly over this you'll need to install Java more on that later right but the important thing the, the important step and you can read alone and follow these you know you need to perform all these steps I actually follow them up exactly as they were in here and they work just fine uh, the setup for the Linux firewall on the DLC. Here are all the commands uh, that you need to actually reissue. And I will provide at the end of this video the place where I put a small 
document that shows how you will debug all these in the end should you make a mistake or have any networking problem how you actually troubleshoot and determine where the the problems are you need to specify uh, perform this particular step and by configuring this JSON file very trivial where you specify where the curator box is going to be doing and you restart that DLC service now on these steps there's a section for UDP which is what I did in my system so I didn't have to mess around with certificates and all that and there's a section for TLS and that's what you see here nothing really major and very well very well written and the final part is to add in curator a log collector a DSM but it's actually it's, it's gonna be the forwarder for all this you'll see it later on and here are the steps very well described and how you actually do that one important consideration at the end of this document is that that you know DSM that we will put at the log forward it's not going to be a DSM in the full sense of the world or the word that that is you will see events get into it it's just going to be acting as a forwarder and then for every individual logs that they come they they're going to be auto discovered and all that and you need to deal with them as if they were be coming directly to you but notice that in the protocol configuration they it must be set to forwarded for uh, this uh, to work properly one thing that I think it is worth mentioning during the installation on the Java on that DLC machine the documentation makes you you know go to this site to download the IBM Java version for this and one thing that is important is that even though and this is apparently something common among Linux people that the the actual version of the code it is is listed of the AMD 64 even though this has nothing to do with whether your processor is Intel or Andal so this can be confusing so select this one please because that's the one that the rest of the install procedures will expect uh, to have all right. I did all that all those installation steps and the way I tested this here are my uh, my uh, log activity in the same curator box and this is you know I simplify the testing of it I use the log run command to actually send some logs this particular one uh, into and I specify the destination being the 77 machine which is where I install the DLC and this is the parameter the 100 events per second so I'm going to be issuing this uh, log run command which again this sends logs to that Linux box that is acting as my DLC and if we can see we see those events actually coming in fact we can send some more and you'll see them coming I'm going to send it a couple of times so you see that this is actually happen notice that the events are unknown so you still need to deal that's the last part of the document that I mentioned to you uh, on this you need to specify that the protocol is actually forwarded so this is you know this the DLC makes the event get to uh, to curator but you need to deal with them as you were uh, if they were coming directly to you few things uh, if I actually go here and list let me look for the DLC adapter that I actually uh, created for this come on creation date I'm going to sort them by creation date so the, that one should come to the top and here it is notice that it's not going to tell you that it received any event this is perfectly fine don't get alarmed for that because what it's doing is just forwarding those events so they are not going to be process on the DLC and also understand if you have like 50 types of different logs they are not going to come on their one log type everyone will every one of those 50 will need to have its own uh, log created it can be able to discover all that but uh, remember the consideration about the the protocol being uh, forwarded 
I honestly think this is very straightforward and you should get it working the first time. But what happened if you run into some problem? Well, I put a very short document here with a couple of commands that can help you. Uh, and the link to this document is in the video description. On there, there's a subdirectory called um, DLC on that um, box link. So the first thing is, you know, basic stuff. Do a TCP dump to make sure that from the networking perspective, you have connectivity and the logs actually get there. You actually see them there. Check your ports. Make sure that you did the configuration right. Check your firewall and hear the command and what you should be expecting from every one of the command. And these are the most interesting one. This is how you test in the DLC machine that is actually ingesting those logs. The next command is the one that indicates that it's actually forwarding those, it's posting those, and you should see something of like this. And the final one is in the curator box that you're actually receiving stuff from from the DLC. Again, a few commands for uh, debugging this. I hope that you enjoy this, uh, this new feature. I think it's going to be very, it really complements very well the curator architecture by making something free that you can use to actually forward uh, from uh, small uh, locations that are not big enough to really have or justify the installation of a event collector appliance.